Hello ladles and jelly spoons, it's wonderful me again, Totally Rant. It's talked to you about a mixture of a request from Dark Ducky and something that really annoys me. Dark Ducky suggested to me that I write a rant on people who make whiny statuses on Facebook, but I've decided to take the suggestion a little step further. Now, a few of you might remember my first rant on this channel about grammar use on Facebook and other social networking sites, so to avoid going back to that, you can find a link in the description box below. Moving on though, my rant for you today will be about the uses that some people put Facebook to. I'm not sexist, but my first topic is more often a crime committed by girls. How many of you have been casually scrolling through Facebook, then died of laughter at the sight of a duck face? I can guarantee that there are a few people now picturing a duck on their Facebook homepage and wondering what on Jupiter I'm talking about. Well, the answer is simple. A duck face is the ridiculously exaggerated pout that a lot of girls feel inclined to pull when they take a photo of themselves, demonstrated very well on screen right now by iFlunk Chemistry's apparently beautiful Alec Thomas. Speaking as a heterosexual male, I personally don't find this pose attractive at all. In fact, I think it looks like the person in the photo is having trouble pulling out a hedgehog whilst taking the photograph. Another thing that girls on Facebook are prone to doing is taking a lot of photos of, well, nothing, and putting it in an album labelled Photography so they can play photographer. Sorry to break it to you, sweetheart, but taking a photo of a dead leaf isn't artistic anymore. It's been overdone, and unless you're doing it with a state-of-the-art HD camera with an amazing zoom from a very artistic angle, no one gives a damn, quite frankly. Before I come across as sexist, here I'm going to list a couple of faults that both men and women are susceptible to. Particularly, as suggested by Dark Ducky, whiny statuses, especially those attention-seeking ones. You all know the kind I mean. You've all seen at least one from scrolling down their homepage and seeing someone's status saying something like, having a really bad day, or I hate my life. But then if you or anyone else comments asking what's up, they either ask their friends to message them privately, or say it's nothing and doesn't matter. If you're not going to tell anyone, then it's not really a big problem, is it? And if it is, but you want it to be private, then don't post half the story on Facebook. If you want to talk to your friends about it, why don't you message them? Instead of just attention seeking and getting everyone to think what could possibly be making your undoubtedly wonderful life the torture it appears to be, which, when you put into context with some of the people living around the world, you should be grateful for what you have and just shut up and live with it. Moral of the story? Well, there isn't one really, except shut the hell up, I suppose. But that's not really a moral, more of an insulting piece of advice. So make sure to subscribe, like, and favourite this video for more rants and insulting pieces of advice every Tuesday. And head over to the iFlunk Chemistries channel to see more of the apparently beautiful Alec Thomas pulling weird faces, and that's just when he's being normal. You'll find a link to their channel in the description box below, along with a link to Dark Ducky's profile, the person who suggested this topic, or you can click on their names on the screen now. If you want to suggest a ranting topic, just leave me a comment on my latest video. I've been Totally Rants, and you've been Totally Ranted Out. So goodbye! Bye!